Hey everyone, welcome to this Blender tutorial. In today's video, I will show you how you can make this abstract token. You can find more of these abstract art animals on my Instagram page. Also, the project files for these renders are available on Patreon. So check out the links in the description. For this kind of projects, it's always good to do some research first. You can Google, of course, or you can check websites like Unsplash and Pixabay where you can find plenty of high quality images and use them for free. You can collect several images and use a program like PureRef, which uses pay what you want system, and you can download and use it for free, or you can pay some of course. Just drop in a few inspirational images and use them for references. Also, you can add images directly to Blender. You can just split the view and change the image editor. Then just open the image like. So just go ahead, do some research, and start playing with different shapes and materials until you get some nice ideas for your next project. Anyway, for this video, I'll go directly to modeling. As I already have clear concept, what we will bake. Let's delete lighting camera and start with the beak of our token. It's good to use real world size settings, so let's scale down the cube and start modeling the shape. In this tutorial, we will use mainly subdivision surface modifier, which will split the faces of our mesh into smaller faces and will give it this smooth appearance. Hit tab for edit mode, control R to add new edges, and make sure you allow select intro items. Then we can go to front view and start forming the shape. We can use G4 grab and just move the vertices around. Now we have the beak, so let's continue with the head. Create a cone, change to three vertices, and scale it down. Add again subdiff modifier, and increase the levels to 5 for smoother surface. Then go to edit mode, change to faces, and press I twice to insert all faces. Rotate on the axis. Let's tweak it a bit, and we have the head. We can duplicate it for the body shape, rotate it on the y-axis. Let's grab some of the vertices. And we have the body as well. Let's create a tail, starting with a cube. Go to edit mode and adjust the shape. We can add subdiff modifier. And let's insert these two faces. We have our token and we can set up the scene. Let's add a plane, scale it, extrude this edge, control B to build this one, scroll the mouse view to increase the number, then shade smooth, and enable out smooth. Shade smooth the other parts as well, and we can move to the next step. To model the branch, we will add a cube. Press start for edit mode, hit M, then choose at center. Now we merge everything in the single vertex, so let's grab it and extrude it several times. Now 
let's give it some volume by adding skin modifier. Then press tab for edit mode. Select the vertices and use Ctrl A to scale down the width. We have the shape, so we can add subdiv modifier to smooth the surface. Increase the levels and let's rotate it with a plane on the axis. We can refine the branch and let's add camera before the next step. And hit Ctrl Alt Number Zero to snap it to the view. Okay, now we can add some leaves to our branch to make it looks more interesting. We can make it very easy by enabling sapling tree gen alone. Let's add a tree. Then just go to leaves tab and check show leaves. We can delete now the tree and scale down the leaves. Let's go to camera view and rotate and position the leaves that we want to be seen in our render. We can now change to edit mode, go to faces, make sure we enable selecting two items or just hit Alt Z to turn it on and off. Select the faces we want in, let's invert the selection and delete the other ones. The last thing is to add the subdiv modifier. That's it, let's go now to Render Properties tab and change the render engine to Cycles. Display Render Preview and let's light up the scene. Add Area Light and place it on top. Set the power to 150 and change the size to 2 meters. Let's duplicate it. Rotate and change the color, then set the power to 100. Duplicate it one more time, rotate it, and set the color to light pink, and the power to 350. Go to camera view, press Ctrl B and outline the frame, so we render only this part, not the whole scene. Now we can continue with the materials. Let's add light pink color to the plane. Add bright orange to the beak and reduce a bit the roughness. Add black for the head and let's copy to the tail by pressing Ctrl L. Then choose materials. This will copy the last selected object material. Let's create one more detail. Add a UV sphere. Scale down, position the sphere. And we have the eye of our token. Shift D to duplicate it, right mouse button to leave it on the same position, and we can scale down on Z axis. Then just rotate it. Let's copy the materials.
and we can go to shading and add few nodes to make the branch and the body looks a bit more interesting. Press Shift A and type call ramp in the search bar. Then add Musgrave texture and hit Ctrl T to add the mapping. Change to object and let's connect the nodes. We can bring the colors closer. Change to constant and adjust the Musgrave texture. Let's go ahead with the branch. Same process but with the Voronoi texture. Just play with the core ramp and scale the Voronoi texture to create this kind of dotted material. One more thing we can do here is to add this nice yellow orange gradient to the beak. We can do it with core ramp and gradient texture. Change from linear to radio and tweak a bit the course. For final touch, we can add depth of field, Shift A, Empty, Plane Axis, and place it on the position we want to focus. Enable depth of field of our camera, then use the eyedropper to pick the empty. Just decrease the f stop number. And we got it. Increase the render sampling for better quality. And enable denoise. Render. And we have our final image. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope that it inspires you to create something amazing and I will see you on the next one.